Hey guys, I'm William Falcon. I'm the creator of PyTorch Lightning, a lightweight framework for deep learning research. In this video series, we're going to go through all of our features and all of our trainer flags so that you can accelerate your research. Some of those features are training on GPUs, multi-GPUs, multiple TPUs, gradient clipping, early stopping, gradient accumulation, and so on. There are about 40 of these that we're going to walk through. The main API that you'll be working with in Lightning is the Lightning module. Lightning module defines a full deep learning training system. A deep learning system could be a individual model, so it could consist of layers and activations, or it could be a collection of models that then define a broader system, like a GAN, or BERT, or an autoencoder. The Lightning module groups together all methods related to training a deep learning system so that the system can be self-contained. It's a subclass of NN.module, and it's basically just a collection of methods. Those methods are your training loop, the validation loop, the test loop, the optimizers and learning rate schedulers, and then the computational graph definition. For this video series, we're going to be using the simplified autoencoder here on MNIST just to illustrate the basic concepts. Um, but if you go to our repo under examples or our bolts library, you, you can see many more advanced use cases there. An autoencoder consists of two networks, an encoder and a decoder. The encoder takes an input X and then projects it down to a low dimension. And then the decoder tries to reconstruct X from that low dimension. It's a very simple process, which we define in this lightning module. In the init, we pass in the two different networks we want to use, an encoder and a decoder. In the forward step, we define how we want this autoencoder to work during inference. In this particular case, we're going to give it an input image, and it's going to give us an embedding for that image. In the training step, we define what happens during the training loop. We start with a batch, and then we run it through the encoder, extract a Z, and then run that Z through the decoder to extract the reconstructed image. And then we calculate the MSC for the prediction and then the input image. And then we send that loss back to the system. The validation step and test step do exactly the same thing as a training step. But in this case, I'm also choosing to log the validation and test loss. The final method is the configure optimizers. For the autoencoder, we're going to use a single optimizer. And we're going to pass the weights of both encoder and decoder, which in this case are defined as part of this broader module. So I can simply say self.parameters to encompass both set of weights. You'll notice that the Lightning module doesn't have anything about looping over epochs or data sets or setting your model to eval or train or enabling or disabling gradients. The Lightning trainer automatically handles that for you, which means that your Lightning module can be focused strictly on what you're trying to solve scientifically. The next part we need to define is the data set. In this case, we're going to use MNIST, which are images that represent a digit between 0 and 9. The dimensions are 28 by 28 pixels with only a single channel. We're going to be using three splits of MNIST, the training split, validation split, and test split. The Lightning Trainer operates directly in PyTorch data loaders. You can pass in a train data loader or validation data loader or test data loader if you have them. Throughout this video series, we're going to be focused on the trainer and the flags that you use to control how the trainer works. Uh, you can use the exact same flags and features on any complexity model. If you ever need something different that the flags don't provide, you can always override a hook or implement a callback to modify the functionality for whatever it is that you need. So in summary, you need three things. One is a lightning model, two is a data set, and three is the trainer. Once you have all those three pieces, you can just call trainer.fit and lightning will take care of the rest. You can see the lightning gives you a quick weight summary, which you can toggle on or off. And then the progress bar tells you how far you are into training. You can find a link to the notebook showing this model in the video description.